Hello guys, this video is going to explain about saving excel file as a csv or as a pdf format okay so i'll show you the demo first then i am going to explain about this workflow okay so in this demo what i am going to do is i am going to write the data into this um, this uh, path so for that i am going to delete this so let me execute my sheet here so it will read a data from one uh, file actually i am writing the data into it then let me let me show that how it's gonna it started executing it no problem let me do one thing actually i have this excel issue so for that i have given this one so since it is not coming no need of it yeah let me run it now so now it's going to save as browse you're giving that it's going there now i'm saving it as pdf so it will select that pdf type here after that it will wait for 15 seconds It's waiting after that it will it will click on that save button now it is clicked on the save button now you can see that PDF got popped out okay so we'll go and see here you can see that actually it's got created now what I'll do is I'm gonna save this as a CSV instead of PDF okay so let me uh, this not this one this is yeah this one so what I'll do is CSV space comma delimited dot star CSV now let me let me close this PDF. Let me execute this. Now I'm saving it as CSV. Let's see how it's working. Started my thing. Now went there. Now actually now it came. Okay. So this is gonna uh, hamper the flow. No problem. Let me close this and execute it again. That uh, uh, I office issue I have. Now you can see this. So what I'll do is I have it. So I'll enable it now. that I need to close this window now let me enable this one enable the activity now run this now it started running now close that one save as browse now it will give that now it went there and it will select the CSV comma delimited one. It will select there. Now it will wait for 15 seconds. After that it will click on save. So once it is saved, once I show the file, I am going to explain about the flow. So you can see two files got generated. One is PDF, one is output. Okay. So that is what I am trying to replicate it here this uh, excel issue you can ignore it no problem so what I did is I have taken one excel application scope and uh, this is my up uh, this is my excel file after that I have written the data into those sheets here I have given the variables 
actually these are I plan to give it as an arguments to give some values so here something like one Kartik some thousand okay you can select as a variable you can select as a uh, arguments you can write directly content into it so let me open that sheet here so this is my sheet here uh, I am writing into these two files these three cells actually e2 e3 e4 so once I open my application here I am selecting this right cell of e2 I am writing that data from the arguments that I selected and after that another one e3 this is for the name another one is e4 that is for the uh, salary okay once you get that then you need to save this file okay so once I saved it then then I am going to do this save as so how I am going to do it by mouse go there click on the file then click on the save as then click on the browse okay these three activities I did here as you can see click on the file well you can see the selectors as well click on the file then click on the save as then click on the browse button once you get that browse button here you need to enter your file name okay so here what I did is since uh, if the file is already existing it won't allow us to create a new file so for that what I did is I am generating that one uh, small uh, random number between uh, between 1 to 10,000 I am generating it so every time I learn it I'll, I'll make sure that I am generating one random number and I am appending that random number to the actual path okay so here what happens is once I got this I'm going to write that name here that name the entire path I'll give it so this entire path I have connected one variable this one I have selected that variable I can do it in scope as do inside our worksheet no problem so here I am assigning the value to it if you see this value I am given this value as I am saying this is getting saved in output folder and the name is output that I am appending that particular random number so each time I am doing it I am, I am saving with a different name so the save as will happen so I have a two copies one is output which is there in one path and the other one is output uh, some random number which will be there in another path okay that's how I am doing this achieving that save as okay so till here we got till browse after the browse we got this one so here what you need to do is for this file name you have to do type into activity okay so just select the type into activity and give that particular path after that then you go to the tab it will come here then you have to your mouse will do this this one right the drop down so that's what I am doing here I am doing this uh, drop down here I don't need this comment section part so let me delete this so if you click on this drop down all the things will come so I am waiting for the things um, which type file types will come so I am waiting for them so for that I have given some 6 seconds as a time okay then once this comes what you need to do is this is a drop down so you have to use this select condition here select a condition then you give what type you wanted if I want PDF I will give PDF if I want CSV I will give CSV if I want workbook Excel type I will give Excel type actually this you can actually I am giving hard coded but you can do as a variable give the type and you can call that as well that also will work so this part I am not using it actually this is where the critical part will come okay once I selected it here actually here once I selected it it will take time for me to click on the save okay to replicate that part I am doing this delay activity here that is a one important thing I am giving some 15 seconds here and another most important part here is once I am here select will only come and select this part okay but your mouse is doing the other part like clicking on it if you observe it my select 
will go and select here something like this one okay it will be here now my code will wait for 15 seconds and come and click on this save but this save button won't be enabled because this already this uh, uh, save as type is already the drop down is not completely there you have went there and you have selected it but when you are saving manually you have to click on that you have to click on this part okay so for that i try to replicate it using the click click activity but every time i'm switching it i'm not getting it if you see this one i'm here right so if i select one thing like click if i put something like click here indicated on screen and that part is going it, it's not alive okay so that is that is a uh, that is where i found lot of issue so i can delete this one that is where actually i found lot of issue so in order to come out of that okay in order to come out of this one here it is going and saving but after it is selecting sorry actually it is in this drop down select will go and select it but actually when you are doing manually you have to once you select it you have to click on it okay so i thought what is the approach i need to make so after that what i did is once i selected it i'll do something like i'll come out of that frame i'll click on something else so here i found something like authors so i click on this so if i click on authors whatever that you have selected it here whatever that you have selected it here will already when whatever that you have selected it here will be there okay so if i click on art something else so this save as will be it will works as a replication of click activity i hope it's clear to you i i recommend you to practice it how you are doing it manually and how your system is doing so in order to come out of that drop down activity here what i did is i selected something else okay i clicked on something else so whatever the, that i selected here will be will be selected in the drop down after that i am waiting for some time then i am clicking on the uh, save button okay i hope it's it's clear to you the only tricky part is you have to come out of the drop down that is the only tricky part rest of the things is very easy okay so let me run it again now it will open it now it's opening click on it when the file save as click on the browser then you are giving the entire path now here you are selecting the type that you wanted okay so once so actually it's waiting for six seconds then after that it's selected here then after after that it will click on this author it's waiting actually it's waiting for 15 seconds here i give an extra time now click down the author then click down the save then key okay then if you go and see that there should be one other file okay so you can see 26 this is the file that got created okay so let me open it so i got the values here okay so that is the approach i recommend simple approach just open your excel sheet and for me this is the office issue so i have selected click click down this close then click on file then click on save as then click on the browser these are all click activities after that type into activity to select the file type then save as activity to uh, then uh, click on this drop down this is your you have to replicate what you are doing manually okay so i'm clicking on this one then i am selecting the particular type once i selected it i'll click on here so here what i am doing is instead of that since i am not able to do that i came and clicked on something else here something like author i clicked on it then i clicked on the save button that's it nothing nothing fancy it's very simple and when you are doing it you may find it tricky but it's actually very very simple i hope it's clear to you guys 
um, if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section so that i can help you out this application is very very useful since with this you can do saving as any type of file you wanted either you want text file you want uh, pdf type you want any type this will help you out first you need to understand what is my what i am doing manually step by step then you need to put that into the uh, machine understandable format that is a ui path understandable format so you can do all this all this save as all these types once you saved it you are clicking on it since from ui path i am unable to do that so i am clicking on something else i am clicking on the after that it will select that drop down then it will select that save button okay so that's an approach let me know if you have any doubts thank you